Okay guys, so this is the other guy again coming to you this morning and today we are going to be swapping out uh, lower control arm uh, ball joint and so that's what we're doing. Uh, this is my sidekick. Okay, and so I'm going to be teaching him a thing or two about swapping this, this thing out. So basically what you need is a new lower control arm um, ball joint and I'll show you how it looks like <clears throat> so this is a lower control arm ball joint this is for the passenger side I recommend only Toyota so you can see that's Toyota right there it's, uh, the package is unopened okay so um, my experience has been that Toyota products uh, OEM product beats aftermarket products on OEM uh, on ball joints so that is why I'm swapping this out with an OEM uh, product okay uh, I'm a living testament of uh, why you should use OEM product the reason why I said that is because I survived two lower ball joint failure and so that was a result of my careless uh, <laughs> going cheap. Uh, you know, my carelessness on going cheap. So I bought AutoZone and O'Reilly uh, lower control on ball joint, and they broke on me. So now I only recommend uh, OEM ball joint. And uh, so that's the story. If you need to, if you want to know more about it, I have a video on it, and it's hecka scary. So now we are swapping out. Of the lower control arm ball joint and the reason why I'm doing this is because there's, there's an incessant popping noise uh, which I haven't uh, been able to solve and uh, so that's what we're doing hopefully this will solve it uh, if it's not you'll see another episode of whatever okay so that's what we're doing um, so let's go down to the ball joint area and I'll show you how to take it off okay so before we go on and uh, tear into the lower control arm ball joint I just want to go out go over some specs here okay so remember when you reinstall the uh, lower ball joint the lower ball joint to lower control arm nut that is torqued to 103 uh, foot-pounds of uh, torque okay and then all right the lower bar joint to steering knuckle bolt okay that is 59 foot pounds so you have to remember these uh, two specs right here and I'll show you okay so 103 foot pounds is this nut right here 59 foot pound are these four nuts right here two here and two on the other side over here okay so remember that spec so when you reinstalled it um, that's what you have to torque it to what I discovered about this nut right here is if you over torque it okay if you over torque it uh, you could end up breaking the the spindle here okay the spindle that goes to uh, well, the, the spindle that attaches to the ball it's a one-piece thing if you over torque this um, if you do a lot of off-roading you can shear this off so it has to be at a specific torque and that is 103 foot-pounds okay do not over torque this and do not under torque this it has to be 103 foot-pounds and same with these okay you over torque these and when you off-road they will break off okay and because uh, they're basically holding uh, this and this this whole thing together you over torque this they will break out break off you under torque it they will slip out so make sure that you are um, using the right the right torque spec when you tighten these okay so that's just a pre warning to you okay so that's that um, so let's begin Okay, so this is the underside. So what you need to do is you need to take out this bolt, this bolt, and uh, these two bolts over here. Okay, I don't know if you could see that. Okay. All right. 
So my sidekick is doing that right now. So we're going to take this belt out, that belt. Then we're going to take out the castle nut here. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so now that we've taken the four bolts down here, what we're going to do is we're going to take out the cotter pin here, and then we're going to take out the, uh, we're going to remove the uh, castle nut here. Once that's done, then it, uh, it requires a special tool, and it'll pop out. Okay, so this step, you have to have a Pittman arm puller here, okay, and basically put this in, and then see this little thingy here, this goes into that little, there's a little groove inside there, and you want to tighten it like that, okay, then once that's done, tighten this, and this thing right here, this shaft right here, will push this thing up and out that way you don't damage the boot here or the bar joint and that's how you take this thing out watch this okay so as you can see i i loosened this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to need my son to help me remove this so what I did I'll show you is I removed the tie rod end here okay and that's where the tie rod end goes and so what we're gonna do here is we are going to be removing the lower ball joint I'm sort of like taking a shortcut guys technically you're supposed to take this thing out which is the uh, uh, CV axle but I, I don't want to do that. I want to go straight to the jugular uh, to take this out. So my son, I've already gotten loose, this thing loose. My son's going to pull this out. I'm going to lift this up. Okay, go ahead. But let's fast forward this. Okay, so that's how you remove the old low control arm ball joint here. This is the new one. Okay, so we're going to put the new one back here, we're going to put the new one in, let me see, see the new one is really rigid, okay, and the old one is still rigid, but it's loosened a little bit, okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to pull this up, I'm going to have my son put this in, yeah, okay, don't lock the video. Okay. Got right. that? Yep. Was that hard? No. Okay. Okay, guide me so that this thing sits over there. Oh, what a, uh, a little further. You want it to sit on top, right? Yeah. Okay. It has to go further this way. Okay, hold up. Okay. And you're pretty much sitting on top of it now. Okay. I gotta line the holes here and the pre line. Give me the bolts. Yeah, so we're gonna bolt it up again. Okay. You mean nut for this? The nut? Oh, yeah. I, there's only a castle nut. Yeah, the castle nut. Uh, give me the new one. It should be on the table. Oh, there it is. And that is that. It's not that hard, guys. Where is it? Right here. And there's a cotter pin that comes with the kit. Okay, we have the cotter pin, the castle nut. 
this goes in like that and installation is opposite of uh, uninstall and that's that guys <coughs> once you uh, tighten this is back put the uh, cotter pin in and you're done and that is pretty much it it doesn't take a rocket scientist to do to figure this out so let me know what your thoughts are and uh, we'll go on from there yeah mm -hmm.